Look at this beautiful, beautiful delivery that just arrived today. I have waited all day. I've had so much work, but I'm finally at this moment where I can open these up and give them a test. Hi, this is Planicel, and you're here today looking at my new Papermate Inkjoy gel pens that have come all the way from the US. I have my trustees that I've mentioned before in the past. These are a one, two, seven pack that I got from, hmm, Officeworks maybe? Oh no wait, one's missing. Oh, the black's missing. Okay, so there's an eight pack and there are actually two packs of ordinary colors. It was like something like that. Anyway, four and four. You can get four and four packs at Officeworks. But these ones I got from Amazon and I will link them below for your shopping pleasures. They did take a little while. They kind of got held up, but they are here now and they are ready for my love <laughs> okay so the other one thing to note is these ones are a 0.7 gel pen as you can see these ones here however are a 0.5 so they're still the same fatness but anyway let's go in and compare hey get into this i'll have to note where they live otherwise i'm gonna end up confusing them because at a surface view they look exactly the same but let's get into this now the thing that i love about these is not only that they are the most beautiful to write with and that they don't smudge because i am left-handed um, but they have beautiful vibrant color they are so smooth and they just kind of feel cushy they're like they're definitely very fat and they have a bit of a whoops just get into this oh sorry they have a bit of a um a suede feel to them i guess you would say but oops it's not confused so we have all these colors that compare top and tail as to what we have and what i'm what i'm getting new so i have a green do it We're running out of room here and the navy oops spread this out and i have this mark on my desk which is always going to bother me but anyway i have a pink and a purple and a light blue and i do have a black where is that it must be in my handbag maybe there's an issue with my black one. It doesn't write well. It um, kind of scratches a bit. Green and, oh, what am I doing? Light blue and red. So the new colors are, assuming that these all match, is this one. Oh, we have that one. Oh, goodness gracious, orange. So we've got a teal, an orange, a, a brown and a Hmm, what would you call that? It's not navy, it's like a... Do they have name, colour names? Oh, it's an off blue. It's like a black blue? Grey, grey blue? Hmm. A brown. A... Like a mix between a purple pink. And a yellow. Oh, that is awesome. Actually, I've just realised ink levels are there too quite visible and they're big fat inks too so you definitely get a lot in there now these are the new ones these are the old ones let's compare i use purple all the time so just comparing where we're at with the levels of ink let's do that so we're equal so nice and full and you can see where mine's at in comparison all right so the next one we'll do real quickly is test the writing and I have this gorgeous happy planner that is a notebook that we're going to do a comparative write with. And I still have my insert because I literally have just received this and put it on my shelf. But you got this. I loved it. So colourful. So let's do this. I'm sure you're just waiting for this moment. Now we're just going to compare the colours because black is black. But anyway, let's give it a go. I'll start with red. Let's just do my name. 
so this is the red 7.7 .7. now some people have said that they're kind of right a bit fat so when you're trying to write small it's a bit difficult so let's give it a shot and I might even zoom right in here there we go. So we've got jelly. These are the point seven. And I'll try and do it really small. So nice and fat. But you can handle it. Oh, you know what guys? I'm gonna have to rip this out because these little buttons are gonna get in my way. And I'm not gonna be able to ride. That is the beauty of a HP planner. I can just rip it out and give it a shot. Now, let's do the 0.5 gels. And they usually come with a, um, a tip. So you just pull it off. And this is the 0.5. So we'll do, hmm. So to note that actually I'm not writing on a paper surface, I'm writing on a desk surface so it will might well it might be a little bit more scratchier but you can definitely go fine really fine you do see a little bit of color depth lost let's zoom right in at this and again I'm not the greatest handwriter I'm not here I'm not a I'm not a um see that's not even right I'm not a calligrapher I've always wanted to have nice handwriting but I blame it on my left-handedness. So as you as you try to get small, you get stuck. Let's make sure I'm tracking here. What am I doing right? Point five. Hello. Way, way, way more detail. Obviously you can do a lot more fine detail, but you do notice that it's just a tiny little bit more scratchier. Okay, so that's the red. Let's compare purple. So this is the 0.7. Kelly. The good thing about my name is I can just swirl it. Oops. Went a little crazy there. Hello. And we'll take the purple fine liner. This is the 0.5. Whoops, I'm going to forget to do this every time. That's probably about as small as I can write. So, can you see the difference? It's still a whole rainbow of colors. We've got the green. Oops, what am I doing? Am I writing Kelly and hello at the same time? Whoopsies. <laughs> All right. Okay, that's green. Let's do blue. I'm going to keep forgetting to do big little. I'm going to keep starting to write. Okay, point five. So one thing to note, I actually find myself being a little bit more neater doing the smaller writing when I'm using a finer tip. I don't know if that's just because I'm taking more care because it is smaller or if it's just the pen but anyway yeah I just noticed I'm being a little bit careless with the big ones. So that's the pink whether the light's picking that up well. I never really like my name, but when it comes to times like this where I'm just swell, 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 swelling, I'm loving it. Okay. Point seven. You know, I'm really disappointed in myself. I didn't think to do this in like a rainbow, like the rainbow song. Could have made an epic gradient. So with the fatter inks, you do kind of see them run a bit. I guess they're spitting out more ink in one go. So if you do find that no bleed on the back, so that's not an issue. That's another great thing about this. I noticed with the uh, fine liners, the Stadler, how do you say it? Fine liners, they do kind of bleed if you hold down too long on them, but um, I definitely don't notice it with these. 
So I do straight up notice that there is definitely more of a scratchy feeling on the paper rather than the smooth rolling of the ball that makes sense. So yeah, you can clearly see how, how more defined that is when I go smaller rather than a big ink blob. Right, I think that's all the colours. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh no, wait, <laughs> I haven't done this one. Okay, blue. This is the point 0.7 and we'll do the point 0.5. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm supposed to be doing big and little. I'm on a whole different train of thought right now. Fabulous. Let's not make sure I get my name wrong. Okay, that's the, all the colors that we have comparatively. Let's just have a play with the rest of the rainbow of colors to show how they... Nope, I'm pretty sure I've done that one. Oh my goodness, I am so confusing myself. Okay, here we go. We should have seven colors left over. Good. One, two, three, four, five, six. I've done something. Oh, wait. Nope. Seven. Black. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. Oh, man. I'm in a whole different world of thoughts right now. Okay. So let's try the yellow because that was one I was really excited about. This might be good just for coloring, less for drawing, but we'll give it a shot. Can you see that? Yeah, you can see that. That comes out well yellow. Now I've got this like off coloured purple that is between the pink and the purple. It's not as vibrant as the other purple but not as light as the pink. Can you see that? The three colours together? There we go. That's good gradient. So if you're a big fan of the multi-pack of the Stedler, which I'll show you what I've got in a second. Stedler. Let's see. The fine liners. Let's call them that. They're like a felt tip. They um, do have an extensive range. I think mine's like a 25 pack or something. So I do have more colors, which was the only disappointment that I had. I do believe you can get heaps more colors in these, but I couldn't source them anywhere. Um, not even Amazon. I'm sure that they're probably in the US, but unfortunately here in Australia, we're a bit limited with what we can get. Actually, even worse so now because borders and shipping is locking down a bit and postage is starting to get delayed due to reduced air traffic so I'm not looking forward to what is to come now they don't look terribly different but you can see in real life that those colors are coming up much different and maybe when I zoom out you probably see this is like a denim blue I am at my, it's like, what time is it? 6 or 8 p.m. I've had a whole day of work, so I'm just kind of in wine mode right now, ready to have a wine. And I'm not here to like write beautifully because my whole day is shot from writing because I work in marketing and I prefer to hand write stuff, which is probably a really bit, um, a bit backwards in this day and age. I actually work in digital marketing, but sometimes handwriting absorbs into my brain better if I write down my like, marketing plans which right now we're focusing a bit on because everything's changing with the COVID situation oh look teeny tiny oranges oh I'm so happy there's finally an orange okay that's orange this one I'm excited for this is the teal which is much different to the light blue. Let's compare them all together. You can't really see it terribly in the... Maybe let's do it that way. So we're doing the teal. Whoops. See, look, I got on an angle there and I kind of lost the ink. Oh, unless this one's just kind of... Needs to get the ball rolling. All right, and I think, what are we doing now? We've got, I think that's it. Let's put the black in here for good measure. I feel like I'm missing something. And I have just completely merged all these together. Oh, that one's a bit. So like I said, I've always, I've, my other pen, my other black always plays up on me. Maybe it's just the way I'm holding the pen. Let's zoom out of here now. 
do, do, do. Check out all the colors. Wait, let's not go past the zoom. Eight, nine. There we are. That's 100% frame. Okay, so that's this. And I certainly feel like I've forgotten the color, but for now, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then there was the seven other colors that are duplicates. So one, two, oops. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And that's the full rainbow. They obviously don't line up, but there you go. This is how we've gone. There you go. This is what we look like. So overall, I do think I still prefer the big ball smooth transitions with the 0.7s. Um, I do like that they are a bit smoother and not as scratchy. They kind of have that um, scratchy feeling that you get with the fine liners. Which, so yeah, this one has 20 colors. My other colors only have 14. So um, the difference with these uh, fine liners are that there is some grays. And probably a little bit more extra color options. They are a felt cap like that. They are very fine. Well, let's see if we can do that. So they are a felt fine cap pen whereas I think I really prefer smooth running transition of a ball point pen. So overall I think I do prefer the point sevens but if you needed to write really fine the point fives do a great job. You probably will have less ink bleed out a little when you're writing smaller as well, when you're in a smaller pen, but they do kind of feel a little bit more scratchier because they are a little bit finer. But overall, the benefit here is that you get much more colors and I couldn't source the 0.7s in this bigger color range. Apparently there's like up to 32 colors, so I have never seen that. I think that was in the description on the Amazon, but I will link that below. This is my own video. Thanks for your time. And have a great night. See ya. Thanks so much for watching and please do subscribe below for future content. You can also visit me on Instagram at planetkel or the planetbau. And for all my stickers, head to theplanetbau.etsy.com.